For those who don't know about Cluely, Final Round AI, Interview Coder, etc. Let me give you a brief. These tools are just like ChatGPT. But the only difference is, if you try to use ChatGPT during an interview, you will get caught. Why? Because of a few reasons. You'll get caught while screen sharing. It takes time to type and get a response. Even if you use voice, it's still slow. So using ChatGPT directly during an interview is not practical. But these tools are built to help you stay hidden. Don't show up on your screen sharing. And they work silently in the background to assist you in interviews, meetings, or anytime you need help without exposing your AI tool. Well, that's what they claim. However, these tools have major issues. If you watch some videos online, you'll see they're getting caught by AI detection tools used by companies. You can literally see in video frames how these tools are exposed. And since the whole point of using these tools is to stay hidden, if they're getting detected, that's a huge concern. Another problem is pricing. These tools are quite expensive. For people who don't have a job yet and are trying to get one, it's not affordable. Also, they are not open source. So I took all these issues into consideration and built a new tool that bypasses any type of AI detection, which is fast, gives more human-like answers, and it's open source. Without wasting any more time, let me show you the tool. This, this is the tool. This is how the interface looks. It listens to your interview and fetches the answers for you right here in real time. Let me show you how it works. It's asking me to sign in. I'll go ahead and sign in. After that, it's asking for a resume. I'll just copy paste my resume. Now we are good to go. Let's test whether it gives answers based on the resume or not. So tell me about yourself. As you can see, the response is not just generic. It tailors the response as per the candidate's resume. So that's nice. It's working fine. Let's see how it works when we use it in Teams or something similar. Let me open Teams here. After opening Teams, I'm sharing the screen. Once I click on this hide button, the small hide button here, it hides the content. So it's totally working fine, as you can clearly see at the top of the screen. So it's working perfectly. This is how it works. Now, to use it locally, here's what you need to do. Click on the repository link I've given in the description. What you need to do is just copy this link from there. After copying the repository link, open your terminal. If you're on Windows, go to search and type CMD. You'll see the command prompt. If you're on Mac, just search for terminal. You'll see it there. Now type this command exactly as shown, git clone. Once the source code is downloaded, go inside the folder using this command, cd. After entering the repository folder, run the next command, npm install. Once that is done, the final command to run is npm start. As you can see, the application has opened. This is the one I just opened from the GitHub open source repository. So you don't need to download anything separately. You don't even need to be a terminal expert. You can just use the open source tool, just like I showed now. The hide mode also works perfectly fine. It hides everything as expected. So. This is how you can use this tool completely for free without paying any money.